Before you start learning React Native, you have to know that you need some requirements. You first need to learn JavaScript because JavaScript is essential and you need to understand JavaScript basics like variables, functions, arrays, objects, promises and async await and also ES6 features like arrow functions and destructing and spread operator etc. And I have a crash course in the last section so if you don't know JavaScript don't worry because I have a, a section that I teach in it the needed JavaScript for React Native. So it's a crash course with intensive information. And also I have this course in my YouTube channel so you can learn it from the JavaScript section or from my YouTube channel. The second thing is TypeScript. TypeScript is not mandatory but it's highly recommended because it has a lot of benefits like better coding quality and fewer bugs, better IDE support and auto completion, easier maintenance for large projects and more and more. But you can start with JavaScript and learn TypeScript later. The third thing is React.js. React.js is not strictly necessary but it's very helpful because many concepts overlap with React Native like components, state management, props, hooks, GSS, syntax and so on. But you can start this course without taking a React.js course. Why? Because each line of React.js code I write, I will explain it. So you can start without taking React.js course. So the only thing that you need to learn before taking this React Native course is JavaScript. Okay? You just need JavaScript to follow along with this tutorial without any future problems. And for TypeScript and React.js, don't worry, I'll cover them.